We are looking at a heating plant that is protected by a pressurization system with a compressor. The manometer indicates an initial pressure of 1.5 bar in the system's cold state. If the boiler is now switched on and the water is heated, it expands so that the pressure increases to, for example, 1.6 bar. This pressure forces the water into the vessel and compresses the gas on the other side of the butyl bag to 1.6 bar. If the temperature in the system rises further, the pressure rises to 1.8 bar. A dedicated controller detects this change of value and opens a valve so the pressure can escape and the butyl bag can continue to be filled with water. The vessel is filled until the pressure drops down to 1.6 bar. Then the valve closes again. If the temperature rises further, the pressure in the system rises and the process starts all over again. The pressure at a system temperature of 60 degrees is for example 1.7 bar and the vessel is almost completely full. If the system now cools down, the pressure also drops, for example, to 1.6 bar. The gas in the vessel expands and water returns from the vessel back into the system. If the pressure drops down to 1.5 bar, the compressor switches on and starts pushing air into the vessel. The butyl bag is compressed further and the water is pumped back into the system. The system pressure increases again to 1.7 bar and the compressor switches off. With further cooling, the pressure drops again, for example to 1.5 bar. The gas in the vessel expands and the water is again pushed from the butyl bag into the system.